So for this episode of Week of Tiny House, I'm going to be talking about how I made a rough 3D model of the tiny house to give people an idea of, well, what the floor plan is like. So like I said in the intro, this is a rough model of the tiny house. I intentionally did not freak out about making every dimension perfect, making it a perfect model. I am definitely gonna go back next time I'm down there and be a bit more accurate about things, but I mostly just wanted to get a model out there so that way if people were curious about the floor plan, the proportions of say, the kitchen sink to the table to the overall living room area, it would give people a better idea of the size of the tiny house than what photos or videos can do because of distortion and just the angle. And believe me, when you see it on camera, it does not look the same as it does in real life. In real life, the living room area and the loft area actually feel way bigger than they do, which normally trips people up when they go in there like, what, this thing's actually bigger than I thought. This is really cool. Has to do with the way the video shows it. So. While I was able to get most of the windows drawn in there, I sadly ran out of time working on the loft windows. I got started with that and my sister was like, oh, okay, time to get filming. Then we filmed, went and got lunch. I edited, helped my dad out with some stuff. So sorry if the model's not perfect, but I figured something was better than nothing. One other thing you'll notice in the model is I did not draw in the toilet, the sink, the couches, and the bed. The main reason why is I figured one, people might do their own size of stuff, and two, like I said before, it was a time issue, and three, I wanted to mostly show things that were already fixed in there and things that you definitely might not be able to buy off the shelf. Now, when it comes to the windows, they're accurate to within a couple of inches. I figured being that the windows are what I would consider one-off, being that they were literally display models that you would see at your local home improvement store to go, oh yes, I like this window. Can I please buy five of these in the full size? I mean, literally that is what they are. So I consider them more one-offs. The dimensions on them are not perfect. I just roughly got them in there just to give an idea of where the light was coming in and things like that. So definitely in the future, I'm gonna try and make the model more detailed say drawing the approximate size of the sink itself and maybe drawing the shelving. But quite honestly, I really don't think that's as important and it almost clutters it up more than just keeping it free so people can get an idea of, oh, okay, so if I put a couch here and this here, you know, you can kind of get an idea of stuff. For those of you who don't have Fusion 360, don't know how to understand it, don't freak out. I might not have it done as of the time of filming, but I'm gonna try and get some screenshots and see if I can get a nice drawing that shows the size of the house and then the size of the kitchen and say the size of the table and the size of the closet, things like that. So that way you can very easily see approximately how big everything is. And say you do wanna build your own tiny house, you could use these dimensions to say, lay out the design on your front lawn using stakes and string, giant sheets of butcher paper inside a warehouse. I don't know. You know, if you guys want to get crazy with that, feel free. I'm going to see if I have enough spare time. And this is no promises, but I want to try and work on this eventually is making a um, 3D printable model of the tiny house with various components that you can pull off, such as the roof, the loft area. So if somebody really wanted a 3D print one to really get an idea, you could go ahead and do that. By making it in multiple pieces, you can almost use it like a kid's toy set. You can pull things out to gain access and things like that. So I hope you guys will enjoy this model and find it interesting. As always, if you have questions about the tiny house, please leave them down below. I will try and do my best to answer them either directly through me or channel the questions to my sister, get the answers from her and drop them down below. See you guys here next time on Make It With Calvin where who knows what next I'll be making a model of, because I love making models.